Can you cut it? Hot is hot. <laughs> so we'll just wait. Okay, so we just got two fish sandwiches. <laughs> First one, day bird. I'm more of a fan of southern fish fry type of preparation. Yeah. Fish sandwiches to me are like hit or miss. I can't say I'm a good judge of it. It was meaty for sure, um, and it was sizable. The fry was really good, the batter was good, but, but the cod wasn't as, you know, flaky or yeah. as we like. Also, what's important to me when it comes to fried fish is the tartar sauce. Oh yeah, the tartar sauce like makes the, it. Like the malt vinegar, the um, the pickles or horse like whatever goes into it. The zestier and zingier it is, the more I love it. And this one, I, I don't think I like, whoa. It's raining. It's a sun shower. And sunny at the same time. Oh my God. Second one is uh, one that we've had before when they were a pop-up. Now they have their own location in Echo Park. This is Little Fish. This is fried bass. Thank it's a beer batter, so nice and crisp when you bite into it. Just the potato buns were a little bit too big. They sort of take over. So we ended up just eating the fish by itself to really get the flavor of it. And the fish was really nice, flaky, very tender and juicy. If you want to remove the top bun, eat it with the bottom bun. It's That's not disrespecting oh. the fish sandwich. But take the pickle from the top bun and, and, and put it on because the pickle is really good. It adds to it. At the end of the day, eat it however you want to eat it. Hello. One of my favorite pastries in LA is the mochi cake from all time. Crunchy outside, mochi like inside. Excellent with coffee. Deli combination. It's nice. So many blueberries. What the? This thing is so deep. It's so heavy. Yes. This is a breakfast sandwich. Yes, you may pick it up. And then this. It's made test. with Clark Street Paula bread. It feels like such a juxtaposition between the big salad, the big ass salad, and a French toast. How's the big ass salad? It's a good ass salad. <laughs> Alright, it is called the good ass salad. <laughs> So, you really liked it. Headed down to the OC today for an impromptu road trip. Why? Because we're gonna meet up with two very special people we haven't seen in a while. And we're gonna eat it up. Every time we go to a road trip to eat, it is a great road trip. I don't mind driving 20, 30, 50 miles. <laughs> in a tough situation with the parking oh my god this one's this one's the most difficult okay we just went to this place fat ki mi gya known for their herbal duck noodles yeah i thought it was nice to try i'm excited to see if there's more like duck noodle soup out mm -hmm. here in little saigon mm -hmm. so if you have any racks let yeah. us know let down us in know. the comments <laughs> We just had a uh, bangkung at Bangkung Luluen, I think. <laughs> yeah, bangkung here. Lu Here's the name. We've been here before and we loved it. This time we tried a couple of other things. I mean, I really like the deconstructed one where you get the uh, steamed rice wrap separate from the dinu and you, I like it constructed. You like it constructed? Like in the roll mm -hmm. cut? Okay. Yes. Oh, it's 
tasting hack. I got this. You got this? Just spread oh, those. Oh, look at that shake. That gotcha. shake. Oh, shit. It's from all those years of volleyball. <laughs> Could have been the caffeine. Could have been the five cups of caffeine. It's a caffeine, yeah. <laughs> Okay, we just finished our 2 p.m. lunch at Lian Hui to go. We came here uh, during our three day stay in Little Saigon. You may have seen it in the video up here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we came back, took our friends at the Bumbu Hui again mm -hmm. with the shrimp ball. Ooh, we got the Bumbu Lok, which is the crystal shrimp dumpling. Mm -hmm. Very chewy, very delicious. And we got some other items as well. The Nemnu, they give you five per order, and it was just a little bit too much. Excessive. Yeah. First, the elephant ears. Yes. Which lovely little forest, the lovely cobra. Yeah. We're just gonna sprinkle in here. We also have the ang choy. It's all stem because why not have more fiber in your life? And let's not forget the, the blossoms. banana blossom. Yep. Bistro. It's a really great place to support. It's really nice to see these mom and pop shops still exist in Chinatown because all of them have been pushed out. So we're always happy to go and support and have some comfort food. Standout from tonight was the whole steamed sole. 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. Very reasonable. Fresh fish. We ate it all. <laughs> Get that beautiful dressing. Ooh. Poop's gonna be real solid. Now on to the fun uh, drinks. I got strawberry jasmine from Hey Hey. Got it with less sugar and sure enough, there's not a lot of sugar. It's still very good. <laughs> Here's what we really wanted to go to today. We are huge fans of Vietnamese iced coffee, as you know. So we were able to find a local spot. This is called Nam. Yeah, he started off as a coffee company wholesaling to coffee shops. Uh, his beans are direct from Vietnam. Mm. Okay, so how does it compare? Well, we're so glad that they're in the city of LA because it saves us a drive to go down to the OC or SGB when we're craving it. Although our favorite is still, you know. Well, we can get it every day now. And now we can get it every day, which is for better or worse. <laughs> It's so good. So go check them out. Don't let the sunny blue skies fool you. We're in the middle of a storm. Hail, thunder, rain. It's freaking it's like hailing. The size of a tooth. Wait, is that really hail though? Yes. Oh my god. You know the people that are like outside? Are there people outside? I'm sure there are. It looks like they'll hurt.
because that's the only way to get it. Let's just try this. Mmm, freshly squeezed sugar cane juice. <clears throat> A little unfiltered, <clears throat> but very good. <laughs> I think the sugar cane is grown here locally, so. Really? Ah! 